Now, what I'm going to be doing here is tying a yellow owl, but as you can see here, uh, in the, so these flies, uh, I've got basically three ways of tying or getting the, the fly to sit at different depths or to sit it in the surface from slightly deeper with this one with no tail. So mid water, mid halfway, and then with the tail and with a shorter body that sits that wee bit higher. So it's the same fly, I've just slightly changed it to suit the different depths. Uh, obviously it's a CDC pattern. It's very simple to tie. Now, I'm going to tie the middle one just to show you. Now the hook I'm using, this is a, basically it's a nymph hook. It's a great part, it's a great hook. You don't have to use what they're originally made for, but as you see I'm going to use it as an emerger hook. This is a check nymph barbless hook. It's got a lovely shape in the, the shank and the bend and a nice point and it holds really well and it's a good strong wee hook. Now the thread I'm going to be using, this is a light k-hole thread, this one here, say 8 o from Uni. Now the first thing I'm going to do is take out about say 12 inches of the thread and then I'm going to run it through the wax. So um, this helps change the colour of the thread, it makes it more translucent like. Now I'm going to start the thread just short of the eye and come down to the point where I'm in line with the bar, or the point of the hook, sorry. Trim away the waist. Now for the rib, I'm going to use a wire. Now you could use just a black thread, it's entirely up to you. Now the wire I'm going to be using is this one here. It's the extra small, it's a UTC wire in black. Now, this is to save belt and I'm going to tie it in on the underside of the hook because I'm going to be tying in a tail and I don't want the wire to get in the way of the tail so now if you're doing a dry fly you can stop it there so it sits a wee bit higher if you're going to do the next stage which I am is like slightly further around is there now if you want to go just without the tail come down come down another couple of mil or so then I'm going to tie in some tail fibres now these are the so I cut the Leon feather but I'm going to use up the small soft feathers at the bottom we should still get the mark at the tip, but they're slightly softer. And this is for the tail. Tail length, you're looking body length. Just hold them in your finger and thumb. And then we can catch these on. And then we can start to work our way back up. And make sure there's wax on your thread. Keeping the fibres, these waist ends, on the top, because it will colour up the thread itself. You can trim away the waist. And then to get a taper in the body, again I'm going to put more wax on the thread. And when you come down two thirds of the way, and then work the way back up, and that's your body. So you've got a nice taper. You can then bring up our wire, looking round five to six times against your thread, and then we can secure in our wire, just winding it down towards the eye. Then we can bend and break it away. Now if you look at the body, it's very, you can see through it, uh, it's very translucent. You can practically see the hook through it at that point there. Now that's what I want, and the wax helps to, to show up, or to do that, it makes it more translucent. Uh, varnish will do the same if you want to, if you don't want to use the wax, you can then varnish it. Now, to save in the CDC feathers, this winging method is really good. Uh, it uses up both the waist ends in the tips of the CDC feathers. Now normally if I'm tying a fly of this size I'd be looking to at least have three CDC feathers. Now I'm going to use two and then and I'm going to use up the base of the back of the, the feather as well. Now I'm going to bring them both together and you can see they've got a natural curve going up. Now I want the natural curve to come up and away from the hook. Length, look, looking at least from the tail to the eye for the wing going forward over the eye, just come around nice and tight, two or three turns, put a couple of turns in front just to like slightly lift these up, see how they're sitting, put a couple in there to make sure it's sitting up. And then what I want to do is basically bring these fibres together, so the way to do that is the same method you use if you were posting your wing, come round at the root of the CDC feathers with the thread a good half a dozen times or so and you'll see how it's brought them both together like that 
and then we take our thread to the back so we're back at the point where we started where we basically uh, where the body starts in there now I'm going to put in some dubbing now the dubbing I'm using is a blend, it's a blend I put in my own it's, it's, well, most people have a blend like this but what this is is uh, Here's body fur mixed with a tiny bit of UV flash. I don't know if you can see it, but there is a wee bit of flash in there. And basically, what I want to do is lightly dub it on. And we start at the body, end of the body there. Just take my hook this up. And then work towards the CDC feathers. Now, as I come to the front, what I like to do is draw back the fibres in the dubbing, do a turn. Going to that, drawing the dubbing back, forming like legs. When we're happy, and then we can, the easiest way to varnish it is to a tiny bit of varnish on your thread and wet finish. Three or four times. Take away the excess varnish, trim your thread. Now, as I say, we want to either you can trim this practically square at the end of the CDC, it's up to yourself. But if you wanted to blend into the tips, the easiest way to do is to come in from the top and cut at an angle. Just come straight down towards the back of the hook and then trim like that. And there we are. And that's that's basically it. Now these have been quite stiff. These fibres helps to keep the fly up. And it makes them for a really nice a nice shape in your wing. Tiny legs coming through, a wee bit of flash there, just what you need. It's a, it's a great wee pattern, a great style, and it's just a good way to save in CDC, they're not cheap. And as you can see, you can, I can fill a box quite quick, they don't take long. So I hope you enjoyed that. Mm -hmm.